Matthew Hines. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne. I took the oath, and I'm here to defend my state. Hello, everybody. I'm Matthew Hines. I am your congressional candidate for the 1st Congressional District in Washington State. Now, just recently, the Seattle City Council passed a tax, what they call the Amazon tax. In response, I have submitted a letter to the editor, or op-ed, as they call it, to the Seattle Times. I doubt they're going to print it, so I'm just going to post this on YouTube. Here we go. Title, Amazon tax has nothing to do with social justice. Let me say as a candidate for the United States House of Representatives that I am no big fan of Jeff Bezos, who has done more to destroy America's retail industry and his competition than anyone in the history of retail. Let me also say that I also want to take away Jeff's money personally, not Amazon's, which is where the holes start to appear in Seattle City Councilwoman Kashama Sawant's lovely sari. The fact is the Amazon tax passed by the Seattle City Council will not help the poor citizens of Seattle. It will only go to cover shortfalls in the city's budget due to the incompetence, neglect, and corruption of the misguided individuals who have hijacked the political process in what was once the Emerald City. What Sawant and the council are really doing is sticking their hand out to businesses for protection money in order to set a countrywide precedent. Pay up or the mobs will destroy your neighborhoods and rape and kill your people. This is a tactic familiar to Sawant as that is how they do it in India. There should be no surprise that the Black Lives Matter movement, which is a legitimate movement that goes back almost a hundred years, was hijacked by a national socialist style movement not seen since the Nazis lost the Second World War. It should also be no surprise that national socialists want to disband the police. They will be running the only protection racket. You only have to look at the history of the Nazis and the Bolsheviks to see how that ends up. The fact is, the CHOP and CHAZ represent a death knell for the Democratic Party in Washington State. Unless they have a foolproof way of rigging the elections, the Democrats are going to lose every office in November. Even the protesters at CHOP told me to a person their biggest problem is the Democratic Party. As a result of this widespread feeling among blacks and whites, all you see in Seattle are crazy white politicians scrambling to hide from the gathering storm coming in the next election by forcing their racist personal histories onto their white workers, as if that's going to fool anyone. To the people who work at Amazon, this tax is a sales tax, which means you are being used for taxation without representation. I will fight this tax and any tax on Northwest business. But if you are Billy Gates, Jeff Bezos, or Zuckerberg or Google, and you made your billions as a result of a government preference or surveillance operation, the American taxpayers should decide if we have a right to some of your earnings. Matthew D. Hines, Congressional Candidate, 1st District Independent, submitted to the Seattle Times, July 14, 2020. My name is Matthew Hines. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran of the 82nd Airborne. I took the oath, and I'm here to defend my state. Congressman Susan Del Bendy has been in office since 2012, using her substantial financial resources thanks to Microsoft and her $84 million fortune, she has been able to continually maintain an office where people still have little idea what she's done. Well, she's learned to dance around and she's learned to do all the political maneuvers you have to do to keep getting reelected. Well, Susan Del Bendy, it's time for you to go.